on this. Now, just want to stress the importance that we're not really here to have fun today. We are here to learn and to take something back and to look at Guruji's teachings and implement it into our lives. So I will do my best to be as simple as I can. You know, I won't, you know, I won't be, um, I won't be too long, hopefully, but I've only got an hour um, and there's so much I need to go through. So apologies, please forgive me in advance for any mistakes. Um, but I really hope you guys learn something today and you take something back from this Kahoot. So the pin is at the top. Um, so it's 735124 and I just want you to pop your name in so I can see the, um, how much Sangat has jo is joining us. So, so far we've got 56 people and as we did last time, um, we will start when it's 100. Now with me, I have a special guest. I'm hoping he's there. Uh, Sandeep Singh, are you there? Uh, now Sandeep Singh joined us for Guru Tegh Bahadur's shows as well. And um, so hopefully Sandeep is there. Why Guruji ka khalsa? Why Guruji ki fate? Why Guruji ka khalsa? Why Guruji ki fate? How are you guys? All good? Oh, can you hear me? Oh, okay. A bit of a technical glitch there. They will be back. Um, whilst we're waiting, the code is on your screen. Please do join. And again, we are here today to learn about Siri Guru Arjun Dev Sahib Ji. So, Sandeep, if you just try the link again. There we go. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, we've got a technical glitch which is expected. Can you hear me guys? No? No, okay. Tell me when you can hear me. Oh, you can hear me, finally. <laughs> How are you guys? Are you okay? Yes, we are. Lovely, so tell us your names, tell us your ages, and tell me where you're from. So, my name's Sandy, um, and I'm 12. My name's Sandy, and I'm nine. And our little sister? sister is called Hagila. And she's oh, thank six. you so much. Wow, excellent. Are you guys excited for the Kahoot? Yes, we yes. are very excited. Lovely. So tell everyone, what are we doing today? Why, what is this Kahoot all about? And why is it so important? Kahoot quiz is all about Guru Arjun Dev Ji Shahid And all the questions, most of the questions will be linked to Guru Arjun Dev Ji. And I think it's very important for us to learn about the the arsenal that. Excellent. And have you done anything special today to remember Guruji? Um, I've also I've not not we went to the Gurdwara on the weekend. Lovely. Of course it is, definitely. And at the end of the coup, I will explain to kids how, what you can do going forward. Well done. So, Sandeep, you have been a runner-up in every coup, so well done. Are you excited for this coup? Are you, are you confident that you will do well again? Are you confident that you'll do well again? Oh, another technical glitch. But thank you so much. Um, let's try it once more. Sandeep Singh, are you there? And if you've just joined us kids, please do uh, use the link at the top and log on. Yeah, you can hear me. So, yeah, we've got lots of technical glitches, don't worry about that. Are you excited and are you ready to learn about Guru Arjun Dev Ji Yes, uh, we are very ready. Excellent. And is there any message for anybody, for everybody watching? Is there anything you'd like to say about Guru Arjun Dev Ji Shahidi or the Kahoot or any tips because um, you're so good? Um, so my tip would be to maybe like listen to the questions and not go as fast as possible and maybe like try and get the, maybe try and make sure you understand the questions. Yeah, yeah. So don't just choose an answer for the sake of it, you know, reflect on it. Well done. And again, I'm going to stress, we're not here to have fun today. 
We are here to learn something. Excellent. Thank you so much, Sandeep Singh and your beautiful sister. Um, I'm going to let you go now so you can log on and join us. And let's see who, who wins this Kahoot today. Vaigru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigru Ji Ki Fateh. Excellent. So let's see how many. We've got 76, 77. So again, kids, please log on using the code above on my screen. You don't need to register for this website. You literally just um, log on. It's Kahoot. So go into Google and just put in Kahoot. But the website is www.kahoot.it. Now, I know there's, there's actually more people viewing this than actual players. So please, you know, do play. Um, remember, you're not here to win. We're all winners, but we are all winners if we learn something and we implement something from today into our life. So, you know, don't be nervous that you won't know the answers. You're all here. We're all, you know, we're all in the same boat. So, excellent. We'll give it a couple of more minutes. We'll start at 10 past. Um, again, because I've only got then 50 minutes to go through everything. Now, I could sit here. And I could talk for hours and days and days, but that's not enough. Because Guruji's life, you know, it's amazing. And uh, there's so much, there are so many praises of Guru Arjun Dev Ji. But, I, you know, I, I wouldn't know where to begin and 50 minutes is nothing. So today we are going to just focus on his Shahidi and go through what happened, the torture, why it happened. So again, it's not a quiz for you to win, to compete. It's more for you to learn and to reflect. So one more minute, kids. And if you do log in um, after I've started, you can log in at any point. So that's not a problem. Lovely. So we've got Prab from Spain. Wow. Excellent. Thank you for joining us. We've got Agal. Hello, G. We've got Ganesh. Speak for Life. Jason. Agent. Manmeet Kaur. Harveer. Um, Jasraj, GK, Tanisha, George Thiru, Jasmeet, Karanjit, welcome to the Kahoot, Ranjot, Brave Buffalo, Gary, Ishleen, all these lovely, lovely names. Thank you so much and thank you for joining us. And again, I've got more viewers than players, so if you are watching, please just log on. It will be amazing. Oh, we've got so many other names. Thank you. I've got Vai Guru. I've got Saneha. I've got Bole Sonehal. Big Singh. Welcome. Isha Ko. Anaya. Rose Creek. Palak. Harleen Ko. Japanot. Kirat. Simran and Manraj. Gurmeet Daman. Nancy. Daman. Jagat. Big. Nav. Hargun. The names are all on the screen. Welcome to the Kahoot. We are going to start now. Um, again, because lots to go through. So, are you guys ready at home? Shout your answers. Of course you are. So, um, we are going to start. And if you have just joined, um, please remember that the pin is at the top. You can join at any stage. So, question number one, please. Okay. So, a nice and easy one, as I always start off with an easy question. So, it's the fastest finger. Um, but here we go. So Guru Arjun Dev Ji was our which Guruji? Third, fourth, fifth, or third? I can I can just hear all the um, clicks. Excellent. So you are pretty fast. So Guru Arjun Dev Ji was our which Guruji? Third, fourth, fifth, or third Guruji? Which Guruji was he? And remember, kids, he was the first Guru to be Shaheed. So let's have a look. So the answers are coming in. Which Guruji was he? Ta-da. And of course, the answer is Guru. Arjun Dev was our fifth Guruji. Excellent. So let's see who got that one. That was an easy one. So that's a bit of a cheat. Rose Preet, well done. Excellent. Fantastic. So that was nice and easy peasy. Nice and easy to start off with. Question, okay, so now we're going to start off with the main questions, okay? Let's see who gets this. Question number two. Guru Arjan Dev Ji was born in, was he born in Jalandhar? Was he born in Patna Sahib? Was he born in Lahore? Or was he born in Govindwal, which is in Amritsar? Where was Guru Arjan Dev Ji born? 
Uh, was it Jalandhar? Maybe some of you are from Jalandhar. Was it Patna Sahib? Was it Lahore? Or was it Govindwal? And that's in Amritsar. <clears throat> so have a go. Fastest finger wins. If you're not sure, take a guess because the answer will be on next. So let's have a look. What have you guys got? Still some people left. So Guruji was born in... And the answer is, of course, Goindwal. Fantastic. So that's in Amritsar. And that's where Guruji was born. Um, let's see how many got that right. Excellent. So Rose Preet, you are still in the lead. Fantastic. We've got Manpreet. Super family, excellent. We've got a whole family playing. Thank you. Simi and Amandeep, well done. Um, we should have some climbers coming up soon, which I can't see at the moment, but I will have a look. Uh, 38, um, up to 38 places. IT is the highest climber. So I'll, I'll discuss that more in a bit. But of course, Guruji was born in Goindawad. So whoever got that right, well done to you. Excellent. Question number three, please. So, Guru Arjun Dev Ji's mother's name was Bibi Viro, Mata Gujri, Bibi Pani, or Bibi Sundari. I can hear you all clicking away, which is amazing. Who was Guru Ji's mother? Was she Bibi Viro? Was she Mata Gujri? Was she Bibi Pani? Or was she Bibi Sundari? Who was Guru Sahib's mom? Who was, the mo who was Guru Ji's mother? What was her name? Excellent. So we're nearly done. Let's see what you guys get. Well, and it's a bit of a tricky one because they, these are the names of all the some of the most important bibia, and so I don't want you to get confused with who is who. So what do we guys have? Ta-da! And the answer, of course, is Bibi Pani. Now, a question for you to think about: Who do you think Bibi Pani's father was so that's a question coming up soon just have a think um excellent so let's see who the winners are there so 63 people answered correct well done um so and um, let's see fantastic super family amandeep sandeep ranjit and rosemary excellent well done to you um so of course bibi pani ji was guruji's mother okay and harleen bal well done you are climbing high keep that up so, Guru uh, Bibi Paniji was the mother. Next question, please. So, we've got mother's name, we've done. Now it's time to discuss Guruji's father's name. Who was Guru? So, Guru Ram Dasji was Guruji's father. True or false? Guru Arjan Devji's father was Guru Ram Dasji. Is that true or is that false? Let's see what we get. True or false? Guruji's father's name was Ramdas. True. Excellent. So Guruji's father, Guru Siri Guru Arjun Devji's father was Guru Ramdas. That's true. Fantastic. Let's see how many answers. Who got that right? Excellent. So we have excellent. We've got more climbers. So super family is still there. Excellent. Rose Pre, you're still number one. Ranjit Darsanj and Kirat number one. Well done to you guys for getting the answer correct. Guru Ram Das Ji, our fourth guru was Guru Arjun Dev Ji's father. Well done. Next question, please. So Bibi Pani Ji was Guru Ji's mother. Guru Ram Das Ji was Guru Ji's father. Guru Arjun Dev Ji's father. Who was Guru Arjun Dev Ji's Nanna Ji? Next question, please. So who was Guru Arjun Dev Sahib Ji's Nanna Ji? Was it Guru Nanak Dev Ji? Was it Guru Gobind Singh Ji? Was it Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji? Or was it Guru Amar Das Ji? Who was Guru Ji's Nanna Ji? So Bibi, who was Bibi Pani's father? Was it Guru Nanak Dev Ji? Was it Guru Gobind Singh Ji? Was it Guru Har Rai Sahib Ji? Or was it Guru Amar Das Ji? So who was Guru Arjun Dev Sahib Ji's 
Nana Jin. Let's see who gets this. Not long, come on kids, a few seconds left. So, who was Guruji's Nana Ji? And you'll realise how lucky Guruji actually was. Okay, a mi um, mixture of answers. Not bad. The answer was correct. Guru, Sidi Guru Amar Das Ji. Guru Amar Das Ji was Guru Arjun Dev Ji's Nana Ji. And Guru Arjun Dev Ji actually grew up in Guru Amar Das Ji's Sangat, Baba Buddha Ji's, and Guru Ram Das Ji's. So that was his circle. And so you can just imagine how blessed Guru Arjun Dev Ji was. And Guru Amar Das Ji knew from a very long time that Guru Arjun Dev Ji would be the next, would be the fifth Guru. As he, when he was a baby, you know, there were a few um, instances where Amr, Guru Amar Dasi actually said this. Um, so yes, his Nan Naji was Guru Amar Dasi. Excellent. The next question, please. Oh, let's see who won that one. Excellent. So we've got Ranjit. Well done. You are now first. Rose, Preet, Sandeep, Super Family and Mahib Singh. Excellent. So again, if you've just joined us, the code is on your screen. Uh, Govan, you are the highest climber for this one. Well done. Excellent. And if you're watching, don't just watch. Please do join in. Um, and the code is on the screen, so it should be very easy to join. Next question, please. So we spoke about the we're speaking about the family. So Mahadev and Priti Chan were Guruji's cousins. True or false? So we've discussed Nanaji, we've discussed mother, we've discussed father. So cousins. Was Mahadev and Priti Chand Guru Arjun Dev Ji's brothers or were they his cousins? Were they his cousins, true or false? They were his cousins, true or false? Have a think. So these two people are quite important as well in Guru Ji's life. So the music's quite serious today, which I'm glad about. So let's have a look. So come on kids, quickly. So the, the pin, if you've just joined, is on the bottom of the screen. Hopefully you can still see that. Okay, so false. The answer is false. Because they weren't his cousins. Mahadev and Priti Chand were Guru Arjun Dev Ji's brothers. Now, Priti Chand was the eldest brother and Arjun Dev Ji was the youngest brother. So when Guru Arjun Dev Ji became Guru, his brothers became so jealous and, you know, they had so much hatred towards Guru Arjun Dev Ji. But again, Guru Ji always looked after his brothers. He always looked out for his brothers and he's taught us not to have any jealousy and not to hate anyone, whereas his brothers were the opposite. So excellent. Um, next question, please. So we'll just have a look. Fantastic. Uh, any climbers on this one? So Ranjit Super Family, you are um, in the lead. And SK. SK, well done. So SK, you are the climber for that one. Fantastic. Well done. Next question, please. So we are now on question. Seven. Guru Arjun Dev Ji built Siri Harmandar Sahib. So remember, Harmandar Sahib is also known as the Golden Temple. Press red if you think yes, he did. Press blue if you think no, Guru Amar Das Ji did. Press orange if you think no, Guru Nanak Dev Ji did. Who, so did Guru Arjun Dev Ji build the Golden Temple? Sorry, red if you think yes, he did. Green if you think no, it was Guru Ram Das Ji. Or um, yellow or orange if you think no, Guru Nanak Dev Ji built it. Or green if you think it was Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji. So who built the Golden Temple, Harmandir Sahib? Was it Guru Arjun Dev Ji? So choose your answers accordingly. And let's see. Excellent. And again, if you're watching and you want to join, the pin is at the bottom. It's in a, quite a fine print, but you can join. And uh, let me see if I can. Excellent. So fantastic. Well done to those 71 people. Yes, he did. So Guru Ram Dasi 
you know, he he founded Amritsar, he founded Harmandir Sahib, he he found the Sarovar. But Guru Arjan Dev Ji actually took the seva of constructing Harmandir Sahib. Okay, so Guru Ram Dasi and Guru Ram Dasi, they you know they play a huge role in Harmandir Sahib, which is you know why it's so important. So Guruji took that seva. So let's see who got that question right. So the pin, if you've just joined us, is seven three five one two seven four, and it is on the screen. So well done to you, Ranjit. Uh, well done to Super Family, SK, Sandeep Singh, and KB. You guys all got that correct, and you are all in the lead. Um, and again, we have got three players that are climbing up. Hi, let's see if I can see a name. No name yet. Okay, next question. Who did Guru Arjan Dev Ji invite to lay the first stone for the foundation of Harmandir Sahib? Who did Guru Ji invite? Was it Nawab Sher Muhammad? Was it Bilal? Was it Chandu Shah? Or was it Mia Mir? So who did Guru Arjan Dev Ji invite to Harmandir Sahib to lay the first foundation, the, the most important part? So, okay, we've got mixed answers here, which is fine. Um, and the answer, of course, is green mia mir now mia mir as you can tell from all of these names they are all muslim they're all muslim so guruji actually invited a muslim he was a sufi he was a he was like a priest guruji invited him and that shows us kids that guruji had love for all religions you know we you know he did not discriminate at all so that just shows you how equal guruji saw everyone he didn't think oh you can't be involved with her mandir sahib you're a muslim Guruji didn't do that, which is why it's so important, even though our Gurujis have become Shaheed, we should still have love and respect for all religions. Okay, we should not have hatred towards anyone. And our Guruji lived up to that as well. Let's see who won that one. Excellent. So mixed answers there. Ranjit, well done. SK, RK, you've just climbed up. Well done. Sandeep Singh and KP, KB. So super family, you need to come back and you need to... Um, Let's see, hopefully you'll be back for the next round. Fantastic. Six players also have been climbers and you've answered. Um, you've got the answer. You answered at the same time. Next question. How uh, Guru Arjan Dev Ji was the second Guru Sahib to give Shahidi? True or false? So Guru Arjan Dev Ji was the second Guru Sahib to give Shahidi. True or false? Was Guruji the second Guru to give Shahidi or was he the first? Was he the third? Was he the fourth? Was he the fifth? Which was he the first? So answer that question for me. Uh, Guru Arjun Dev Ji was the second Guru in our history to give Shahidi. And I mean, and for this I mean in order. Okay. So was he the second Guru to give Shahidi? True or false? Come on, kids. Fastest finger wins. And it'll be interesting to see. Who gets this right? Okay, again, if you've joined us, the pin is on the screen. And let's see who wins. Okay, that of course the answer is false because Guruji was the first Guru to give Shahidi. Fantastic. Let's see the um lead the lead board. Ranjit, well done. SK, Sandeep Singh, Kavneet and KB, fantastic, well done. If you're watching and you think, you know, you, you'd like to have an, a go at this, it's so easy, guys, trust me, you just go into kahoot.it and you will win. Okay, so Ranj, Rajneet, sorry, you are in the lead, well done to you. Next question, please. So now we are talking about... Um, Guruji's Shahidi. So now the questions are all to do with Guruji's Shahidi. So you've got to love my picture there and it will all make sense. Jandu Shah was, and he wasn't Boris, so was he the Mughal emperor? Was he a rich king? Was he the advisor or officer to Jahangir? I remember Jahangir was um, the emperor at the time, the king. Or was he the poet for Jahangir? So Jahangir is the Mughal, you know, the main man. Who was Chandu Shah? Because Chandu Shah plays a huge role in Guru Arjun Dev Ji's Shahidi. Who was Chandu Shah? Was he the advisor, officer to Jahangir? Was he the Mughal emperor? Was he the king? Was he a rich king? Was he a poet for Jahangir? So, 
I need to stop giving the answer. Jen Bouchard. And if you look at my lovely picture I've chosen, that might give it away. You've got Boris and his two helpers. Okay, excellent. So, of course, the answer was... So, you, so remember this one, kids. Jandul Shah was the advisor. Yep, he was his right wing, let's say, his left arm. Uh, Jandul Shah was Jahangir's officer, and he worked directly under him. He used to be his advisor. So, a huge role um, that he's... So, Jandul Shah, remember that name. It will come up again and again in Guruji Shahidi. He was Jahangir's um, advisor. Okay, let's see who got that one right. Rajneet, well done. Again, fantastic. Sandeep Singh, Jabno, Darsanj, and Kirit number one. Fantastic. Well done. Um, any climbers on this one? I'm not sure, but if you are, please come on. Well done. So, well done. George Rup, you are back in the game. Fantastic. Well done. Let's get you back on that now. Let's get you in the five, top five. Next question then. Jandul Shah, we know he's an advisor. He was a saint. He was full of humility and compassion. So Jandul Shah was an amazing person. True, he was a saint. Or false, he was a babi. So Jandul Shah was a saint, full of humility and compassion. You could, you know, you might think he was Guruji's best friend. Was he? True or false? Was he a saint or was he a puppy? Okay, excellent. So the answer, of course, was false. And I'm not going to sit here praising Jan Shah because he was the main. Oh, it was all his fault. Okay. So he was a puppy. He was a sinner. And I'm going to explain why he was. Okay, so he was not a saint. Trust me, he was far from a saint. For Jandu Shah to do what he did and to watch Guruji go through all that, he was not a saint. Let's see who got that one right. We've got Rajneet again. Fantastic. Well done. Sandeep Japno. Japno. Jap, sorry. Japanjot Darsan Kirat number one. Japanjot. Apologies, my screen is very far. Daman, well done. You are back in the game. Fantastic. Right then, next question then, please. Okay, so Jandu filled Jahangir's ears with lots of lies. So Jandu filled Jahangir's ears with lots of lies. True or false? Now this is where I'm after this question I'm going to talk and explain to you wh about what is going on and what happened. So Jandu Shah, we know he wasn't a good person and Jahangir we know was a Mughal emperor at the time. Did he fill the uh, Mughal, uh, Mughal emperor's ears with lots of lies at the time about Guru Arjan Dev Ji, true or false? So, I th okay, great, we've got over 100 players, fantastic. And again, the, uh, the code is at the bottom, please do join. So, Jandu filled Jahangir's ears with lots of lies, true or false? And it's so hard for me not to give the answer away. Fantastic, of course it was true. So let's go back a bit. Uh, if you, if I, if the next screen is shown where I can see all the winners, um, I'm just going to talk to you about Jandul Shah. Uh, so Jandul Shah, we know he worked for the Mughal Emperor at the time. Now Jandul Shah was a, a very, very rude man. He was full of ego. He used to walk around thinking he was the best. He was highest of the high. No one could beat him. No one could ever match um, his status. So Jandul Shah had a daughter. And he wanted to get her married. So he um, he got a bajolla, as and a bajolla is a person that arranges marriages. And he said to this bajolla, he said, go and buy me a rich stuff for my daughter. I will have three conditions. He must be rich, he must be handsome, and he must be of high caste. Go find me a suitable match. So off the bajolla went, he struggled to find anyone matching those three um, boxes of jandals. Until somebody said, hey, why don't you go to Guru Arjan Dev Ji? He has a son, Hargobind, and he's high caste at the time. Of course, we know we don't believe in caste, but at that time, 
Guruji was seen as highest of the high. They are rich. He's handsome. What more could you, you know, what, what more would you want? But at this time, the Bajola didn't consult Jandu. So this Bajola went to Guru Arjan Dev Ji for the rishta of Guruji's son with Jandu Shah's daughter. Now, when the Sangat found out that Jandu Shah's rishta has come for Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji, you know, they said, let's, you know, we have to stay away. Let's stay miles away from Jandu Shah. He's not a nice man. But when Jandu Shah found out that the rishta went to Guru, Guruji's house, he was fuming at the Bajolla and he said, I am never going to send my daughter there. How dare you even ask for my daughter's rishta? He said, I'm so high. They are so low. They are eating off Sangat's money. And in this way, he did a lot of nindya, uh, you know, of Guru Nanak Dev Ji's house. And when the Sangat realized that this was Jandu Shah, they were fuming as well. And they said to, they went to Guru Arjan Dev Ji said, we, you know, we have a binti. You are not getting Guru, you're not getting Hargo Bin Sahib Ji married to Jandu Shah's daughter because he is a slanderer. He just, he has done nindya of Sikhi, of Guru Nanak Dev Ji's house. And in that way, Guru Arjan Dev Ji went back to the Bajola and said, I have to listen to the Sangat. I can't take this Rishta. Please forgive us. And do you know what Guru Arjan Dev Ji actually said? He, you know, he wasn't, he didn't actually say, oh, I've heard this about Jandu. Guruji actually said to um, the Bajola, I'm very sorry. You know, Guruji folded his hands and said, Jandu is so high. We are, re we are low. We actually can't meet his status. And that's when Jandu Shah found out that, hang on, how dare anyone reject my daughter Rishta? That is when Jandu Shah became so angry with Guru Arjan Dev Ji because he felt that, how dare anyone, anyone on this earth to reject my Rishta because he thought he was the best. So that is the revenge Jandu tried to get. So he tried all year to fill Jahangir's ears. And he tried to somehow bring Guruji to Lahore to get him arrested, to punish him. So he tried everything, kids. He tried for a whole year to get, you know, to get Jahangir to bring Guruji to Lahore. So yes, it is true. He did fill Guruji's, um, he did fill Jahangir's ears with lots of lies. Next question then. Jahangir decided to call Guruji to Lahore and Guruji was fined. True or false? Is this true or false? So Chandu Shah, he's been successful filling Jahangir's ears. And um, Jahangir has actually ordered now Guruji to come to Lahore. And Guruji was fined. Was he fined 200,000 rupees, 20,000 20, rupees, 1 million rupees or 1,000 rupees? So how much was the fine for Guruji to come to Lahore? Because now at this moment, Guruji was, you know, there were so many allegations against Guruji. So the Jahangir, the emperor at the time, thought we need to fine Guruji for all of this. So what was the fine, the initial fine? Was it 200,000 rupees, 20,000, 100,000 or 10,000 rupees? And now you need to think back then, all of these amounts, you know, they were huge. So which one actually was it? Red, blue, yellow or green? And let's see the answers. So, of course, the answer was red. 200,000 rupees. That's a huge amount. Now, don't forget, at this time, I need to speed things up. At this time, Guruji was becoming very popular around, uh, around India as well, India and Pakistan. Remember, it was all one back then. So, Guruji was becoming very popular. Guru Nanak's word was spreading. Guruji was becoming famous. People wanted to meet Guruji, wanted to have Guru Nanak's darshan again. Um, so that's why Jahangir also became very, very jealous. Jandu Shah, again, he's, ra he's raging that my, you rejected my daughter's rishta. So that was his um, me um, idea behind bringing Guruji and finding him. But Jahangir, you know, there were many, many allegations. So initially, initially they said, let's find Guruji. But Guruji didn't pay this fine. Yep. And when Guruji was requested, when Guruji was summoned to come to Lahore from Amritsar, um, Jandu and Jahangir, they sent Mughals to go get Guruji. But Guruji actually said, no need, I will come myself. Um, so Guruji is now in Amritsar and he makes his way to Lahore himself and he takes with him some things. Um, five Sikhs went with Guruji. But before Guruji left Amritsar, he actually um, he also 
at that time, before leaving for Lahore, before being punished, Guruji had already told Baba Buddha Ji and Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji that you will be the next Guru. Okay, so I'll come back to that in a moment. But we are in Lahore now. Guruji has reached Lahore and he's in, in the court of Jahangir. So let's see what happens next. So Guruji rejected the fine. Guruji was given the following options to accept Islam, to remove references to Hindus, Muslims from the Ard Granth, which was, don't forget, at that time Guruji was compiling Guru Granth Sahib, and it was called the Ard Granth at the time. Was Guruji given the option to keep his Sikhi but become Shahid? Or all of the above? So, what was Guruji, what options was Guruji given in the court of Jahangir? What options were given? So, have a go. Was he told to accept Islam? Was he told to remove references of uh, Hindus and Muslim, uh, Muslim in, in the Granth, from the Granth? Or was he told to keep his sticky but become Shahid? Or all of the above? So, which one do you think it is? So, all of these, you'll see with the answer. I'm, I'm letting go. Okay, so let's see the answers, please. Excellent. Okay. So, of course, the answer was all of the above. So, this was the reason for Guruji's torture to begin. Guruji didn't pay the fine and Guruji was told to accept Islam. He said no. Guruji was told to um, remove some certain Pankhya from Guru Granth Sahib Ji at the time called Ard Granth. And Guruji said no. This Bani has come from Vaiguru himself, from Vaiguru itself. So, I'm not going to change any of Guru Granth Sahib Ji called Ard Granth at the time. Next question. So after this, he was tortured. The torture, you know, this is when Jahangir said, right, he needs to be punished. But the, the most important thing here is, Chandu Shah, remember, still very angry about the Rishta, said to Jahangir, Jahangir, you go to Delhi, I will deal with the punishment. So next is very, very important, the next question. So the next question, please. Guruji's torture began in Jahangir's headquarters. True or false? So remember, Jahangir is sent to Delhi and we're still in Lahore. And Chandu Shah said, I will deal with the punishment, leave it to me. True or false? So was it actually in Jahangir's headquarters in Lahore? And let's see the answer, please. So let's see the answer. Guruji's torture began in Jahangir's headquarters. True or false? Answer is false. Okay. So it didn't start in Jahangir's headquarters because remember, Jandu said to Jahangir, You go to Delhi, I'll deal with Guruji. Jandu Shah took Guru Arjun Dev Sahib Ji back to his house and he had already built a torture chamber. So with Guru Arjun Dev Sahib Ji, there were five Sikhs, remember that. So they are all in Chandu's house at the moment. Next question, please. So Guruji Sikhs, so well done Sandeep. Excellent, you're doing really well. Ranjit, SK, Gavneet and Rav, fantastic. Next question, please, question 17. Guruji's five Sikhs were allowed to pray with Guruji whilst he was being tortured in Chandu's house. True or false? So, true or false? True. They were allowed to pray alongside Guruji. False. Guruji was all alone. False. All the Sikhs ran away in fear. False. Sangat was kept at a distance, but they witnessed everything. So, remember, Guruji had five Sikhs with him that he took from Amritsar, who witnessed everything. Were they allowed to pray alongside Guruji? True, false, or which words? Let's have a look at the answer, please. So what's the answer? Answers, please. Thank you. So, okay. The answer, of course, is that. Da -da. So, no. So, although the, sang although the five Sikhs were with Guruji, they weren't allowed to pray. 
Guruji was kept in a separate room. Okay, this is date. We're looking at the beginning now of the torture. Guruji was in a separate room. The Sikh, five Sikhs were in a separate room. They were being tortured in their own way. But Guruji was alone. So they weren't allowed to even speak or talk to the five Sikhs that were with him. Next question, please. Now we are going to the day, the five days of torture. So day one, we are now going to look at day one. So, Guru Arjun Dev Ji Shahidi, day one consisted of no sleep or food. No sleep, food or rest. No sleep, no food, no drink. And he was not allowed to stand. Or was it green? Not allowed to wear his dastar. What torture did Guru Arjun Dev Sahib Ji go through on day one? What torture? What happened on day one? Remember kids, it's June. It's scorching hot, just how it has been today. The weather was very, very hot. And you know India is really hot anyway. What was Guruji's punishment for day one? And remember, at this time, Chandu was still getting his revenge, thinking, how dare you not marry, get my daughter married to your son? That was his rage. He was getting, he was letting that out. But in Jahangir's eyes, it was all about Guruji not converting to Islam, not changing the grunt. Okay, fantastic. So the answer was, okay, so I've got mixed answers there. Well done. But the answer was no sleep, no food, no drink, and no, and he wasn't allowed to stand. So Guruji's torture for day one was, now kids imagine this, imagine you're in a room, it's boiling hot. You are sitting on the floor in a chonkri, you've got muggles around you, you're not allowed to eat, you're not allowed to sleep for the whole 24 hours. Two days it happened for, how do you think you would have, you know, how would you feel? You know, Guruji went through so much, this is nothing. So this day one is nothing. Let's have a look at what happened in day two. So day two, next question, please. So what happened day two? So he's not slept. Guruji's had no drink. He's had no water. He's had no food. Then what happened? Was it again, no food allowed. Uh, so was he burnt with fire? Boiled in a cauldron? Was he wrapped in cotton and burnt? Or did he sit on the tabi, uh, on the hot plate? Day two. So we are only on day two. What was... Yeah, what happened on day two? Was he burnt? Was he boiled? Was he wrapped in cotton? Or did he sit on the tubby straight away on day two? Now, whatever the punishment was for day two, kids, it happened for nine hours. They say. What was the punishment for day two? Answers, please. Okay, so day two, Guruji was boiled alive, kids. A huge cauldron was brought and boiling hot water. You've got the heat, you've got hot water. And Guruji himself said, I will sit in it. I'm not going to accept your conditions. I will sit in this myself. During this whole time, Guruji was reciting Bani. This is the power of Bani. And can you imagine that Guruji, our Guruji that would walk with a Char Sahib over his head is now sitting in a cauldron full of hot boiling water for nine hours in the sun. Just reflect on this kids, it's so important. Can you imagine what Guruji went through? Next question please. So this is only day two, nine hours in boiling hot water. You'd think that was bad. Then what happened? What happened on day three? You know, boiling hot water didn't um, make, it didn't break Guruji. Jandu Shah is furious. He's thinking, he's not eaten, he's not slept in days. He keeps doing part. What is wrong with this man? Why is he not surrendering? One, why is he not taking the Rishta still? And two, why, why are they not um, converting to Islam? What is this person made of? So what was the torture on day three? Was he standing on hot sand? Was he sitting in hot water? Or, or was, the, um, what was the torture? Was it hot water and hot sand? 
hot stones were thrown at Guruji. So day three. Okay. So, so first day, no food. Second day was the hot water. Can you imagine the blisters Guruji has now at this time? The third day, this, um, the punishment was the dovi and the sand. And kids, the worst part is when he went into the hot water, Guruji removed his jola. But when he sat on that dovi, can you please just imagine Guruji now? He was, he was told to remove his dastar. So the hot sand was poured from head all over on his body. Now the sand was so hot it turned red. The dovi is so hot, there's smoke. The smoke is going onto Guruji's face. Then you've got the um, smoke from the sun. It was awful. So, you know, I really hope you can imagine what Guruji went through. And this was three hours on the dovi. Next question. So Guruji has now been boiled. He has got hot sand all on him. And then we've got the fifth day. So who begged Guruji to use his power? Was it Chandushal's daughter? Was it Mia Mead? Was it the um the Ban was it was it the Banj Biare or was it Guru Hargo bin Sahibji? Who actually went to this? So don't forget the five Sikhs were still around Guru Sahib and they were saying, Guruji, what are you doing? You can stop this. You are, you know, you've got all the powers in the world. Stop this torture. Guruji said no. Everything happens according to why Guru's will, and we must accept to live in his fana. I will endure this to prove a point. So Guruji did this to prove to us that we should accept Vaheguru's will. And Guruji was, you'd think Guruji was crying, screaming. No, Guruji sat on that savi and he was so strong because he was reciting, he was one with Vaheguru. He was reciting. He did not let go of Guruji's robe. He was praying and praying and praying. So who actually went to the scene and said, stop this? It was me, Amid, well done. And it was also the five Sikhs around him, around Guruji. They were being tortured as well at the same time for, you know, getting involved. But when Guruji actually left Amritsar, he said to the five Sikhs, you are going to come with me, but you're not going to interfere. Because then I want you to go back to Amritsar and tell everyone what happened. Because Guruji was all knowing. He knew what was going to happen. Okay, next question then. So we've got hot hot sand, savvy, hot water, boiling water. So day four, so we, we've had, so Guruji, the day before this, he's had the sand poured on him. Okay, hot sand. What was the, uh, what was the torture? What happened next? Sitting on the savvy, was it hot rods? Was he told to walk on fire? Or no, Guru, or no torture happened on the fourth day, Guruji was allowed to make Sangat. What happened on day four? Day one, no food. Day two, he was boiled. Day three was a hot, hot sand all over his body from his head. Remember, no, the sad. Can you imagine the pain? Day four, what was the torture? Because so Jamdu thought, what on earth? This person is not breaking. How, what is happening? Even after being boiled, after sitting on a, having sand poured on him, he has not broke. He has not accepted Islam. Then, what was the punishment? What did Jandu say? Let, let's now bring this. Was it rods? Was he told to walk on fire? No. Excellent. Well done to the 94 people. Guruji was, um, he was told to sit on the hot dhavi. So kids, can you imagine how hot this dhavi was? Imagine when you make roti, your mom's dad make roti. The dhava is hot. Imagine the heat around you. It's summer's day. It's hot. Can you imagine that our Guru Sahib had to sit on a hot dhavi? He did this for us. He was in pain. However, he was so engrossed in Guru Sa in Vahe Guru's name, he was continuously jumping nam. He was continuously praying. He continuously thought of Vahe Guru. And that is the miracle that Guru Sahib showed us. That if you keep doing your part, you remember Vahe Guru, not even the hot winds will touch you. And he wrote this in Gurbani. So well done, Sandeep, and all those other people. Excellent. So next question. So what happened on the fifth day? So Guruji went to the went to the river Ravi. Guruji was boiled again. 
Guruji became Shaheed or did Guruji write Sukhmi Sahib at that time? So what happened on day five? So we're towards the end. So after all that torture, what happened? Okay, so Guruji went to River Ravi and Jandu again, he's still furious. He's still saying, agree to the Rishta, agree. But Guru Sahib's like, my Sangat's button is my button. Guruji was still engrossed in Guru in Vai Guru Simran and Bhat. That's how much power there was. So Guruji then went to River Ravi, which is near the which is near Lahore. And Jandu Jandu had to let him go because he thought, yes, Guruji's body is full of blisters. What more would hurt him? Cold water. So Guruji went to River Ravi and he was with his five Sikhs and, and kids. That is where Guru Sahib um, left this earth and he joined Vaiguru. His soul left, his body was still there, half cremated. Can you imagine the blisters? Can you imagine Guruji's feet? He had to use, um, he had to use the Sikhs around him to support him to walk. He was, you know, his body was, his body was just again half cremated can you just sit and reflect on that moment the heat can you imagine that our guru sahib you know king of all kings went through all this he went through all this to show us that we should stay in why gurus hukam we should uh, remain tardikala no matter what life throws at us we should stay attached to why gurus name okay so so important so we're at River Ravi, and that is where Guruji actually, you know, he becomes one with Vaheguru. What Shabad slash Bani did Guruji recite during all of this? Was it Tira Ki Amita Lage? That Shabad? Was it the Mul Mantar? Was it Shabad Hazare, which he also wrote? Was it Sukhni Sahib? So of course Guruji was, you know, constantly doing his Simran, constantly doing his part. But there was a Shabad that he recited back to, to the five seats that was saying, Guruji, please stop this. Guruji was in bliss, kids. Guruji was not crying when he was on the Tavi. Guruji did not cry or scream. Not a single sound came from our Guruji's mouth. He looked like he was in so much anand on this Tavi. Everyone around was just shocked, thinking, how is this possible? how and of course it was possible because guruji no one can beat guruji no one can be on the same level as guruji guruji was amazing he was our superhero and all that shakti all that power came from bani thank you so well done he was um so of course he did all these um all these banya alongside this but the shabad he sat he sang was tera ki amita lage so Again, Guruji explained to everyone, everything happens according to God's will. Even a leaf doesn't move without God's will. We must accept it. Fantastic. So, uh, Sandeep Singh, well done. You are in the lead. And Sandeep Singh, um, kids, I'm sure you remember, he came on at the beginning. Uh, Daman, well done, uh, which was Sandeep's sister. Gavneet Kaur, the Sarsan, and Akal, well done to you guys. Fantastic. So we are nearly towards the end of this Kahoot. After Guruji's Shahidi, what happened to the five Sikhs? So the five Sikhs gave Shahidi, so they were tortured. Chandu Shah's daughter married Hargobin. A Hukumnama was sent for Sangat to gather at Harmandar Sahib. And Guru Hargobin, or oh, what happened next? Guru Hargobin Sahib became our sixth Guruji. So after Guruji's Shahidi, two things happened. What what happened? Did Jandu's daughter actually get married? Um, did Guru Hargobind Sahib become our next, the next Guru? Did, uh, did those five Sikhs that were with Guruji give Shahidi? Was a Hukam Nama sent to the Sangha to gather at Hamranda Sahib? Let's see what happened. So the answer. So of course, those five Sikhs, can you imagine the five Sikhs that with Guruji, the five Sikhs, witnessed everything. Yeah, if we feel upset hearing this, can you imagine seeing this? There's the answer, fantastic. So 
they went back to Amritsar as per Guruji's instructions. They went back to Amritsar. A hukumnama was sent for everyone to gather in Harmandir Sahib. And that is where Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji became the next Guru. And before Guruji's Shahidi, he actually ordered Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji. Remember, he already told Baba Buddha Ji and um, Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji before going to Lahore that the next Guru would be Har Gobind. Guruji actually said, Guruji actually said, when he becomes Guru, he must wear a kirpan. So the whole concept of Miri Piri was, was given, was blessed with Guru Arjan Dev Sahib Ji. Guruji said, do three things when, Guruji, when Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji becomes Guru. Establish a throne, the Akal Takht. Wear two swords, the Miri and the Piri. Because of course, Sikhs will need protection going forward. Teach sings and seek, sings and sing near, create an army, okay? And always be ready for battle. These are the, um, these are the things that Guru Arjan Dev Ji said before he left Amritsar. And then of course, Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji became Guru. Next question. So Sandeep, well done. Um, let's have a look at the next question. Final question, nearly the end. So Guru Arjan Dev Ji has taught us. So Aiko, previously well done, you are also winning as well. So the next question, please. Guru Arjan Dev Ji taught us to A, always turn to Gurbani. Remember Vaheguru in happiness and sadness. To accept God's will. Or all of the above. What did Guru Arjan Dev Ji teach us? From his Shahidi. Did, what did he teach all the people at the time? Guruji could have easily used his powers. Guruji could have easily run away. He could have used his powers. He could have stopped it all. Or he could have even got Chandu's daughter married to Har Gobind. But what was the overall message? What was the answer? So let's have a look. Let's have a look, guys. All of the above, of course. So Guru, Go, Guru Arjan Dev Sahib Ji, through his Shahidi, has taught us to always turn to Gurbani, to remember Vaigru in happiness and sadness, always accept God's will. Okay, so that is something we can all learn. So um, I think that's the end. Let's have a look. Um, yep, those were all the questions. Is that cool? okay? There's one more. So the the final question. San Siri Guru Arjan Dev Sahib Ji. San San Guru Arjan Dev Sahib Ji. Please now, kids. The whole point of this kahoot is so you learn something, so you can reflect. Please reflect and make a change in your life. Don't just think of Guru Arjan Dev Ji today. He, sh he should be remembered every day, especially when you're out in the heat morning. What will you do now, kids? Will you thank Guruji and your Adas every day? Never complain about bad things in life? You will like Seek Channel Instagram and YouTube page? You would join the next Seek Channel Kahoot. What are you going to take away from this quiz? So remember, this Kahoot was an informative one. I wanted to actually, we wanted to teach you guys something. Even if you take one thing from this Kahoot, it's been successful. So this is just a reflection. There's no right or wrong here. But what I want everyone to remember, kids, time is up now, I'm afraid. I want you to actually not just think of Guru Arjan Dev Ji today. Think of Guruji every day in your Ardas. Thank Guruji for his Shahidi. He did that for us. What can we do? Yes, people do Shabils where you serve cold drinks. But kids, don't just keep giving cold drinks out. It's time for you to sit and reflect and to think, how can I thank Guruji? I'll tell you how. You can listen to Sukhmani Sahib. You can do more research about Guru Arjan Dev Ji's life because I haven't even touched on Guruji's life in this Kahoot. You can do your own research. You can memorize and listen to Guruji's Shabad. Learn a Shabad. So that's what you can do. Let's see who the winners are. Thank you very much to everyone that took part. So third, we had... Third place we had Rajneet. Well done to you. Fantastic. Excellent. Second place, 
we had the fans. A huge well done to you. First place, well, we have Sandeep Singh. So Sandeep Singh. And then the runners up, we've got Dalman, your sister, so Govni. Excellent, well done. Thank you so much to everyone that took part. Huge well done to Sandeep Singh. He was at the beginning, he did his interview, so you know what he looks like. Well done, Sandeep. Well done to your sisters. Well done to Darsanj and Rajinit as well. I'd love to know where you're all from, so please do let me know. Join us. Um, you can like my Creative Casa page on Instagram. Let me know where you're from. It's always interesting to know. Thank you to all the people that joined. We've had lots of children join. Thank you, kids. And remember, don't just Guruji today. Think of him every day. Look into his life and do research. And the you know the least we can do is.